Now one, two, three, just open your hand. Ecotourism is catching on in Israel, especially in the Galilee region in the north. Tourists from both Israel and abroad can travel and spend time in activities that minimize impact and build cultural and environmental awareness. If you want a healthy stay, check in at the Mitzpeh Hayamim Hotel, Spa and Organic Farm in the scenic old town of Rosh Pina. Dating from the 1960s, the hotel was the vision of Dr. Eric Yaros, a physician and homeopath who emigrated from Berlin. At Mitzpeh Hayamim, we had an unforgettable and very fresh lunch in the vegetarian restaurant. Afterwards, we walked up the hill to the farm that supplies all the restaurant's seasonal vegetables, fruit, and dairy products. And we said hi to the cows, sheep, goats, and hens on the 28-acre farm. In the valley below the hotel is the bird-watching paradise of Hula Valley and Lake Agmon. Over 500 million birds, 400 species, stop in the valley as they migrate between Europe and Africa in the spring and fall. Visitors can rent electric golf carts or bicycles and go alone or with a resident ornithologist for a tour of the restored wetlands. Israel for the Pelicans is the, the, the very last good stop before the force to uh, cross the eastern deserts of uh, Africa. We actually uh, brought back the, uh, this area to the same uh, function that the valley was in the life of the environment 60 years ago. This area used to be a great filter for the water cross the valley to the way to the Kinneret. At a ringing station on the reserve, birds are caught and banded with a metal ring that indicates they were caught here. Each bird is measured and weighed, and the fat layers under the feathers on its neck are examined. There's a little bit fat in there, okay, we call it fat one. It's not, this bird is not ready to migrate, but maybe in a week it will be. How does it feel to hold this tiny creature in your hand? You feel how, how big you are, how violent you are, compared to these small, delicate creatures. And you feel the responsibility you have in your hands. If you want an intimate place to stay, Hemdatia in Moshav Sedra Ilania is a small bed and breakfast with five rooms in carefully restored stone farm buildings from the early 20th century. The complex includes vineyards, goats, and seasonal organic vegetable gardens, providing food and wine for the guests. The idea is to grow everything here, and if you don't have it here, to try to give to other people around this region the option to, to grow and to buy from local uh, production. In Israel, water conservation is always important. All the water from the rooms are uh, going down to the, uh, to the wetland and to uh, grey water and, uh, in order to irrigate the orchards. The vision of Chemdatia is that it's a window to a simpler past. It was one of the first farms in Israel that was started by Jews returning to their homeland in the late 19th century. And Ben-Gurion, who later became Israel's first prime minister, spent time farming here. In his uh, books, he said that uh, the period that he was in Ilania, in Sejera, was the most uh, beautiful uh, in his life. When the current owners first came, the stone houses were in ruins and were meticulously rebuilt. Atalia Trua, one of Hemdatia's owners, feels passionately about the importance of the work. The ecologic life is the only way to live today. We have so many problems with the environment. I think this is the, the only way to start with small things, to start at your home and to do the right things for yourself and for the environment and for the next people, the next generation.